Hi, this is Abhijit aka Silver Fox A. In this particular video, I'm going to share with you how you can add free wildcard SSL to your domain. Now, wildcard SSL equals to you can add SSL certificates to your subdomains as well. Now, that might cost you some 6000 INR per year. But in this tutorial, I'm going to share with you how you can get it for free using a lesson creep. I'll try to demonstrate the entire process in a step-by-step -step manner so that you'll as a normal user uh, can actually go ahead and try it out. I'm going to share a lot of videos which will probably save your time and money uh, with respect to infrastructure and server. So please don't forget to subscribe my channel. For this demonstration, I'm assuming that you have a VPS uh, running LAMP stack. Uh, it need not be digital ocean, but any sort of VPS would work with this particular stack and here is the IP address that we got for our droplet and I have made a video on how you can create one and link a custom domain from Codity so you might want to check that out okay so here's here is what we have here laravis.com is the one that we used for our previous video okay so it doesn't have HTTPS or else the SSL enabled for this right as, uh, it's only works for non-SSL connection at this point. By end of this tutorial, you'll be able to see it working for SSL connections as well. And, and non-SSL would be redirected to SSL connection. So this is Let's Encrypt. It's, it's a project, open source project by Linux Foundation. And it's being sponsored by a lot of big sort companies. Right Here you can see the list of all those. Now they made the process easier. They created a cert bot that's basically an application which will create the certificates for you and everything is command line so one or three command is more than enough for you to create a SSL certificate on your own. Click on get started and it will give you a brief introduction of about what is cert bot and the process. Click on cert bot and here you get to see the systems. So it has Apache server, Nings and uh, other set of things. So which server you are running, whatever the server, just choose that and select the OS that you might be on i'm on 16.04 ubuntu and running apache server okay and these are the set of commands that you need to use to install the cert bot so you can try one at a time so this will update any sort of libraries uh, that might require updation others would just uh, install certain set of packages required for the cert bot to work and uh, in the final command it will install the cert bot package or is the cert bot application in case if you are confused with any set of steps or uh, i've shown in the video or even in my previous videos do leave a comment i'll try to respond to your queries as soon as possible It might take certain amount of time to install all the packages and run all the set of commands but uh, be patient and just try to do one at a time. So this is the final command which will uh, install the cert bot for Apache server. You might want to just give them the permission. As long as you are not getting any set of errors, uh, you are good. In case if you get some error and I'm not able to help you on time, so just post it on Stack Overflow. There will be n number of developers uh, who would love to help you out. So this is installing all the required packages and setting up everything for you. Now once this is done, uh, you can just test it out and check if the cert bot command is enabled. Uh, for that just type in cert bot, cert for certificate, bot for the bot and the version. Uh, one second. Okay. Okay, just type in version complete. So that will show you the version. Uh, for me, um, like at this point of time, we have this the latest one. You might get a different version when you will be uh, checking out this video. 
so there's nothing to worry about is the process will be the same I believe the command with cert only written will only create the certificates but won't actually set up things for you so we need our uh, Apache uh, the first command to be um, typed so that that will configure everything for you in case if you are not comfortable with this you can go off with the one which just creates a certificate so it's totally up your call to take there's a reason to why we have uh, two commands so that's because the first command would configure the virtual host uh, automatically or uh, what we basically have to give the permission but then again that does that so some people doesn't want this sort of uh, can man uh, automatic configurations to be done so they want to do it manually for those they can go for search only after this the process is really simple so here they will ask me for the email address uh, in case if you want to opt in for for renewal and uh, security notice so it's basically notifications that you'll be getting in this particular mail so they have this terms and conditions so you need to agree to the conditions and whether you want to share your email uh, with the uh, electronic frontier foundation you can opt in or opt out so it's, it's you know, totally depends on you whether you want to support the project or not I already have uh, configured my email uh, previously so I'll just opt out of it for the time being now you need to enter what sort of do what are the domains that you want to specify here I don't have any domains because I haven't configured the virtual host now yet right so uh, we'll just configure the virtual host before we can utilize you can use the same steps that I'll be doing now to can create subdomains in case if you want to know in more details about how to create a subdomain using vhost and few other set of steps uh, check out my previous video I'll put the link in the description uh, so that will show you how you can uh, go about configure the virtual host to create a subdomain in case if you want uh, SSL connection for that purpose maybe my server name is laravis.com and we have to add one more field that is server alias now the server alias would be basically www.laravis.com that we have configured so that's, that's basically a CNAME record and the server name is a record I did this way so that uh, you get to know what sort of error might arise when you are dealing with the search board so if if uh, if I kind of uh, wasted your certain amount of time so I'm really sorry about that once the configuration has been completed just enable the site config file so this is is already enabled now you can go off with uh, just restart the server once and now you can run your search bot command that is search bot okay let's go to the root directory now type in the search bot uh, command that is uh, search bot and apache okay so basically uh, so uh, we have previously configured rest of the details right we gave in the email and all those stuff so now you don't need to do that this will show all uh, the uh, site configurations that we have in case if you have the subdomain you get to see it there now type in enter if you want it for all or as you can specify using comma say one comma two and all the set of steps okay after this um, they'll ask whether you want to redirect your existing domain to SSL connection or it's not so first one is no redirect and second is you are redirecting to SSL connection so I'll opt in for second that is basically redirecting non SSL to SSL so they, they will configure the virtual host and everything so you need not do that you just restart the server once so this was http connection so let's just refresh and see if it works or not yep so you get to see the secure connection there and it's using ssl you can try out www.laravis.com so there's a cname record that will also work there you go in case if you like the content in the video or it's helpful and informative enough for you please do subscribe my channel and click the bell icon which will keep you updated when I post new set of content or the videos